from your reading homework, what was Simon, Madison? A little guinea pig. Yes, he was a little guinea pig. We're going to learn more about Simon and some of the friends that he makes in class. Read our first word to watch for cadence. Simon. Yes, and Jimmy? Guinea. Yes, as in the guinea pig. Jacob? Gage? Compassion. Companion. A companion is a friend. Adriana? Twilight. Yes, that time just after sunset when it starts to become dark. Morgan? Deliver. Yes, someone, a deliverer is someone who helps us with our troubles. Now let's open to page 10. As we begin reading today, we want to work on vocal inflection. What does that mean? That means for some parts in our story, our voice is going to have a tone or a pitch that's higher. Some parts as we read are going to be a little bit lower. Usually the lower is more serious and the higher is more exciting and more fun. So have some vocal inflection. Some parts going up with tone and pitch, some going down with tone and pitch. That adds interest. That makes it exciting with our expression. As we read today, I want you to watch for what Simon enjoys about the classmates that he has and the things that he gets to see in his classroom. He has several things that he decides are his favorite. We're going to find out what things he enjoys that are his favorite. And I also want you to watch for what class or what subject the students get to learn more about Simon in. Let's have Morgan, Cadence, Jackson, Madison, Presley come to be ready to read for us. We're going to start at the top of page 10. Morgan, you may become reading for us. Begin reading. As the children settled down, Miss Adamson opened my door, gently picked me up, and held me close to her, to her body. This fluffy creature, she stated, is Simon. He and I had been friends for over two years. He had come to school with me each day and seemed to enjoy being here with my students. You, you will learn all about his habits and food, foods and how to help care, care for him. You will take turns feeding him and giving him fresh water each day. I loved your vocal inflection, Presley. Miss Adams walked up Ms. and down. Miss Adamson? Miss Adamson walked up and down the rows of desks, and everyone could have a close look at me. Surely they, surely they could see now I do not look anything like a rat. I like the last part with the vocal inflection. Watch the accuracy and smoothness. Madison. The girl said, he's so cute. The boy said, he has really sharp teeth and claws. After all the excitement was over, she put me back into my cage and gave me half of a grape. Grapes are my favorite. During I love your vocal inflection, Jackson. During science class, the students warned that I have some very it should interesting interesting ha habitats. I like to whistle. Whist. Some I sometimes play when I'm content and I love to jump. I love that vocal inflection. Just keep it smooth. Cadence. I have. I have large eyes that can stay wide open even when I sleep. If I do close my eyes, it is because I feel safe. I don't think I will close my eyes quite yet with this new group of students. Miss <laughs> Adamson taught the class. For now, I believe I will have a slice of apple because apples are my favorite. I love that vocal inflection at the end and pretty good smoothness. Just keep it consistent. Rest your books. How long has Simon been with Miss Adamson, Una? <laughs> Here. Good. What is something that Simon says is his favorite, Caden? Grapes. Yes, grapes and apples, so we can see that he definitely enjoys that fruit. In what class did the students learn more about Simon? Josh? Carly? Science. Yes, in science class, they learn some things that are good for him, some things that are not. Why do you think Simon is not ready to sleep with his eyes closed yet, Adriana? 
probably he is excited about all the kids around. Yes, he is probably very excited. Maybe a little nervous, maybe not so sure of some of them. Books up, let's continue with All in All. Josh, Lexi, Carly, and Deb. And we'll start with Lexi. You may begin continuing at the bottom of page 11 for us. All in all day, one of third grade ran pretty well. The, the okay. entire class know, now knows that I am now rat and that they will all take part in making sure I have a good school year. Good accuracy. Keep that speed consistently a little bit faster. Carly, continue. I will be their friend and companion, and we will enjoy learning together. Miss Adamson already knows every, everyone's names, but I have been able to eat only three food pellets so far. I'll keep working on it, the, though, because third grade is my favorite. Good smoothness on that last sentence. Keep it consistent. Rest your books. So he also enjoys third grade. That's part of his list of favorite things. Why has Simon only been able to give himself a few food pellets so far? That word and definition for us. Twilight, white after sunset. Good, and pause for just a moment. You can remember a few food pellets so far, Emily. Because he doesn't know everybody's name yet. Right, he still works. Page, words to watch for at the top of the next page. Josh, come read definition for us. Twilight, white after sunset. Good, and pause for just a moment. You can remain here. It's time for the fall canoe trip, so Sam is excited. We're going to find out, though, something unexpected that takes place on his canoe trip and how Sam is able to handle that situation. Josh, you may start with the title, and then you may begin. Why'd you come? One full afternoon, the boys from the church group left for their last canoe trip of, of the year. This time, they were going all the way from the bottom of Crab Apple. Crab Apple Falls to Gordles. Gardeners. Gardeners. Use that phonics for speed and smoothness. Dev, continue. Sam and the other boys had been on many canoe trips before. They all put on life jackets and grabbed their paddles. Sam waited with her friends. Her, his friend Brad, as the older bo older boys helped Mr. Marsh, the group leader, unload the canoes. We'll try to get the same canoe we had last time, said Sam. But Mr. Marsh had different plans. Sam, he said, you'll be in this canoe with your with our visitor, Brad. But he tried not to show his dis. Disappointment. I like the vocal inflection on the last sentence. Keep it a little bit faster. Jimmy, continue. Before long, two boys were in a red canoe headed downstream. The other canoes were spread out along the river with Mr. Marsh bringing up the rear. So Sam asked, have you ever canoed before? No, answered Justin. Really? Sam, what? Really? Sam was surprised. How could anyone who lived around North River not ca not canoe? Did you just move here? No, replied Justin. I live here all my life. Why don't you canoe? Do you like to raft? Sam wanted to know. Very good expression, good vocal inflection. And we're going to finish this story in just a moment. Students watching, you'll be able to do that with your on-site teacher. Now for homework, you'll be reading from this book, pages 19, 21 through 22. You're going to be reading about the author, Laura Ingalls Wilder, and then you're going to be able to read one of the stories that she wrote about the county fair. Work on that vocal and 